I'm Bob Jones and I'm Head of Marketing and Exports for Jersey Dairy. Now, Jersey is the home of the Jersey cow. The, uh, the animal originated in Jersey but now is all over the world. But the pure pedigree herds of Jersey cows are still based on the island of Jersey. My name is Andrew Legale. I'm Chairman of, the, of Jersey Dairy uh, and I'm a dairy farmer. Um, Jersey cows are, are different and special because the, the milk that they produce uh, is higher in butterfat and protein and calcium and many other vitamins. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a cow that um, metabolizes and eats in a very different way to other black and white cows that predominate. Um, it has its snacks, it eats more frequently rather than gorges. Um, it has black eyelashes. Um, it's uh, inquisitive. Uh, it's a really super cow to look after. Well, the, the Jersey cow is, is, is well renowned for producing very high quality milk. Um, the Jersey cow, in fact, has low milk capacity output, approximately 4,000, 5,000 litres a year, whereas a black and white Holstein cow will produce twice that amount, nine to 10,000 litres of milk. But the quality of the, the milk that comes from the Jersey cow is superior. And, and on our farms, we, we have a, um, a large regulatory booklet, which insists that all our cows are registered in the herd book. So they're pedigree cows. Their parentage goes all the way back to the original cows in the island over a century ago. Um, it means the traceability of our cows is second to none. Uh, and it also means that we can control uh, diseases and monitor any disease much more effectively than any other dairy. Um, this is special milk from a special island from a really special cow. That results in taste, and that's the key difference. Um, the taste comes from the butterfat and the, and the added protein. So when you, whether you have uh, um, skim milk from Jersey cows or whether you have full fat milk on your breakfast on a Sunday morning, um, the taste is a, is a much more uh, I was going to say it's a richer taste, um, but it, it's, not a, it's not what I'd, what I'd facetiously call a white water taste. It's got a bit of body about our milk. Um, uh, and, and that's something that is, is unique to the brand. Well, it, it, because we're a cooperative, it, it, this is a, a complete linkage between the, what we do on our farms, uh, the, the specialist processing that we do at our dairy, um, to create something that is a really true quality dairy product. Well, Jersey Dairy is, is the manufacturing arm, the commercial arm of the cooperative of Jersey farmers. E each day we, we collect from the 23 farms on Jersey the milk produced by just approximately 3,000 cows uh, brought into our factory every morning for processing, uh, for pasteurization, for the whole process of making, making first class quality dairy products. At the moment the company produces a range of fresh milk and uh, UHT long life milk cream, butter, ice cream, yoghurt and cheese. Well our, our priority and our most important market is in fact on the island of Jersey. The, Jersey has a population of 100,000 people. Uh, we provide a range of, of products for the local populace and that's, that's very important to us. At the moment though our farmers are able to produce a lot more milk than we could possibly sell on the island of Jersey. So the reason we're here at IFE 2015 is to develop export markets. We were here in 2013 uh, and found it a very good show. In fact, we have now have a substantial customer in the Far East that we met for the first time at IFE 13. So the, the purpose of, of here is to create new markets across a range of pro products to have a balanced marketing strategy so that one large contract that goes down is not crucial to us, um, that we can in fact uh, ba balance products in balanced markets. We've developed over the last three to four years, we've developed a strong market presence for soft mix ice cream. That is a, a liquid a Tetra one litre acceptably packaged product, has a nine month shelf life, uh, and this is used in, in the machines, famous branded machines like Capigiani and Taylor's and so on, to produce a soft mix ice cream product. The market is developing and we wanted to introduce a yogurt product with the same production method, that is, aseptically packaged uh, in, in a one litre carton that has a nine month shelf life uh, that can be put into the same type of machine to produce a first class but a, a tasting yoghurt product. Low fat because we know that ice cream doesn't appeal to everyone 
or some people consider it to be fattening. So this market has the same sort of experience, taste experience, low cost sort of thrill as we say, um, but in fact it's, um, it's a low fat yogurt product with a yogurt flavor. Uh, up until now, until the, the introduction of this type of product, people would make yogurt using powder and mixing powder either with water or with milk, but there was a process for the vendor to be involved with. This is much easier for the vendor. It, it comes in a, in a carton, it can be poured straight into the machine, um, and mm. it's more hygienic, it's aesthetically packed and so on. So uh, most of the vendors that we speak to, provided we can reproduce the yogurt taste, then they will consider this to be a far more practical to their business and, and, and uh, less time consuming. Jersey Dairy, being based on the island of Jersey, we, we have a central hub on the south coast of England, and then we feed product out to regional warehouses. These regional warehouses can serve smart, small, you know, half part pallet quantities of ice cream to vendors on the seaside resorts in theme parks and so on. And uh, if people are interested in this service, they should just get in touch with us and we'll point them on who's their representative in their geographic area.